I've never been happier with me and the kids. Like my family of three is perfect and it is us. What's your co-parenting relationship like now? Mm, not fabulous, but you know no. what? It's it's one of those things where I, I hopefully in time we can, you know, I think we're, we're doing an okay job. I'm doing, I'll just say this. I'm doing my, my part in what I can do to um, be a good co-parent. And mm -hmm. I can't, he has to deal with his own side of things. And so if he doesn't want to be good at co-parenting, that's his, that's his thing. Like I, I just, I have to, we don't engage unless it's for the kids because yeah. we engage. It's just, we're divorced for a reason. Right. Are the, do the kids still have a good relationship with him? Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. um, they see him at 70, 30. So he gets him every Wednesday, every other weekend. So I have him 70% and he's got him 30. Right. Are you hoping that he gets to the point where you guys can all be civil and sit down and, you know, have those, a good, I nice, blended I, thing. I honestly, I wanted that so badly, but now, like, I think I'm just like, I'm okay not having that relationship because I wouldn't really know what's real anyways. And I just don't want that energy. Right. So right now I think until I can just fully just not care, like, I just don't want that energy around. Right. Well, congrats on the story. It is such a beautiful song. I mean, what made you want to write this? I know that this is a, something that, you know, is very near and dear to you. For sure. I was, um, it was a couple weeks after the divorce and I was um, sitting with my friend, Sarah Bryce, who is Lee Bryce's uh, wife. And she's a real dear friend of mine. And I was writing with her and my friend, Emily Shackleton. And we had wrote this song called Let It Burn. And during the entire like session, my heart was just kept getting like pulled and like tugged. And I was like, guys, if we have time, I really like, I really, really want to write a story for my kids because I've got these two beautiful children. And I'm like, how am I supposed to tell them about what happened and the story? And like, well, what am I supposed to say to them? Mm -hmm. And I was like, I have this idea of just like writing, you know, the story out in a song where it's just like, it's almost like in a lullaby, instead of reading them a book, like I'm going to tell them the story of, you know, their, their mom and dad and how it didn't work out, but that like, they're still going to be okay. They're still going to be loved. And it was, I mean, I, I love this song so much because I feel like, you know, other people can obviously relate to it, but also for me, like, it's just to have this piece for my kids to know that like, they've always been at the forefront of everything that I do and will always do so that they can have this as a piece to just remember that like the love that I have for them and continue to, and, and, and his, their dad as well. So definitely do you, do you, what was their reaction when they heard the song? Oh my gosh, they love it. Mm -hmm. They sing it all the time. And then we we, um, we did a little music video to it too. And, um, you know, they, they laugh and they think it's, you know, sweet to see. And um, yeah, they, they love the song, so. Yeah, so what was the hardest lyric for you to write? Oh man, um, I mean, it, it was, I'll tell you this, like it was all hard to sing. Like the, when I went to LA to sing it in the studio with, um, with Bruce, I just like, I said like the first line and then I just started like bawling and I was like, guys, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through this because this is just so incredibly hard. But I think the hardest line to write then was the um, dreaming of the happy ending because it's like I didn't, I didn't like at the time ever think there would be a happy ending. But honestly, for me now, it's like the happy ending. It's like I've never been happier with me and the kids like my family of three is perfect and it is us and like that to me has been like kind of the full circle with the song like it's it was sad but now it's like i love our family three and like we're the happiest we've ever been and mm -hmm. because we have each other so